Good morning. This is Shindo. Thought I'd let you know the liberal leaning bias bullshit that I read this morning from ABC News. I am now going to read from the article. Police say it's unclear if Charlotte Mann pointed the gun before shooting. Because, folks, that's important. The fact that he had a gun in his hand. Nah. He didn't point it, though. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Police in Charlotte, North Carolina, said that, that they gave Keith Lamont Scott, quote, loud, clear, verbal commands, unquote, to not exit the vehicle and to drop his weapon before an officer fatally shot him on Tuesday. But it's still unclear whether he pointed the gun at the officers, according to Charlotte Meckingberg, Police Department Chief Care Putney. Uh-huh. The fact that he had a gun in his hand is not enough, folks. He has to be pointing it in the general direction of the police. You see, the police, the, the police folks, you got to get it straight. I, I, all of you police officers out there, you po-po, I want you to get this straight. All right? You need to stand there and allow people to shoot you then and only then and only after you say I'm sorry to do this because I know your black life matters then then you can shoot him you got that 5-0 Scott's family has said he was not armed and was holding a book while waiting for his son to be dropped off from school Putney told reporters at a news conference today that Scott was holding a handgun which investigators recovered from the scene and posed a threat because he was not obeying police orders. Quote, The officers gave loud, clear, verbal commands, which were also heard by many of the witnesses. Unquote. Putney said, Mr. Scott exited his vehicle armed with a handgun as the officers continued to yell at him to drop it, unquote. But he didn't point it at you, officers. He has to point it and shoot it at least five times in your general direction, then, and only then, and only after you apologize, then you can shoot him. Only then. Understand? You get that? An officer sub... sub an officer subsequently fired his weapon, striking Scott, who police said was treated immediately and later pronounced dead. An investigation into Scott's death is ongoing. Quote, I don't know that he definitively pointed the weapon specifically towards an officer. Unquote. Putney told reporters, quote, I can tell you from the facts that the story is a bit different as to how it's been portrayed so far, especially through social media, unquote. You know that the only reason that he's saying, I don't know whether they pointed it at the officers, is because one of these reporters asked that question. Police have identified the officer involved in the shooting of Brentley Vinson, who has been imp employed with the Charlotte Meckingberg Police Department since July 21, 2014, and is currently assigned to the Metro Division. He's been placed on paid administrative leave as the investigation continues, according to Putney. Vincent was not wearing a body camera at the time, but other officers who responded to the incident were. The footage will not be released until the investigation is complete, Putney said, the incident began around 4 p.m. Tuesday when officers arrived at an apartment complex in Charlotte searching for a suspect who, has been out, who had an outstanding warrant, according to a police statement. Police said Scott, 43, was not the suspected officer, was not, 
the suspect officers had sought. Cell phone video shows the scene after Scott was shot. Oh, it always comes after it. Several emergency responders tended to his body and lifted him into a stretcher. Violent protests rocked Charlotte after Scott's death. At least 16 police officers were injured while trying to quell the demonstrators, and multiple police vehicles were damaged, according to Putney. The protesters blocked northbound and southbound lanes on a portion of I-85 in Charlotte. Some individuals looted a tractor trailer and set fire to its contents. Oh, well, that's just a protest, folks. It, should, it shouldn't say some individual. It should say some protest, protesters uh, absconded with things from the back of a tractor trailer. Don't call them looters. That's just wrong. Officers in riot gear gave multiple orders for the people to disperse. And when they didn't, police deployed tear, tear gas. One person has been arrested, Putney said. Just one. During the news conference today, Charlotte Mayor Jennifer Roberts expressed concern for Scott's family and the officers injured during the protest. She also called for peace and patience. Quote, this is a difficult situation for everyone involved, she told reporters. Our top priority is for Charlotte to remain a safe community for everyone who lives and visits here, unquote. North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory said in a statement that it's, quote, very important that his office works with the city officials and police chief, quote, to solve a very difficult issue and to bring peace and resolution. My prayers are with the Scott family and also our law enforcement, especially the 16 police officers who were injured last night, he said. Quote, as governor, I'm going to do everything I can to support the entire city le leadership in their efforts to resolve the situation, unquote. The ACLU call called on the Charlotte Meckingburg Police Department to release video of the shooting, quote, in the interest of transparency and accountability, unquote, noting that a new North Carolina law restricting the release of such recordings does not take effect until August, uh, October 1st. The law, HB 972, says footage from the police body or dashboard cameras may not be released publicly without a court order. Quote, we join the people in Charlotte and across the nation in sending our deepest condolences to Mr. Scott's family, unquote, says Karen Anderson, the executive director of the North Carolina ACLU. Quote, we demand a full investigation. Well, that's what they're doing. Uh, sorry. We demand a full investigation into why yet another black person in the United States has died at the hands of a police officer, the public, and Mr. Scott's family deserves answers, unquote. Well, I can answer it right now. He had a gun. In response to the fatal shooting, B.J. Murphy, a religious leader, called for an independent investigation into the incident and a, quote, an economic boycott of the city. Quote, since black lives do not matter for this city, then our black dollars shouldn't matter, unquote. Murphy said at press conference with other black leaders today, quote, we're tired of being killed and nobody saying nothing. Uh, what do you mean nobody saying nothing? Double negative. Everybody's saying something about it. Jesus. He continued, quote, I don't want to offend nobody. <laughs> Who is this? A religious leader, folks. I don't want to offend nobody, but hell, man, man, we ain't got nothing to lose. Unquote. Jesus Christ. This country is being run 
by people who are tiny, little brained. There's a general narrative that goes on with these things. Fuck Whitey. That's basically the general narrative in two words. Where's the president coming out and saying, we need to give the police department in Charlotte a little time to investigate this. They have body cameras. They have witnesses to the scene. Where is the president of the United States coming out and telling people, I know you're angry, and maybe you have reason to be angry. We don't know. The investigation hasn't concluded, but you have no right to loot and pillage stores and to throw bricks at, r at cops and to destroy police cruisers and to stop trucks on the highway and pillage and loot the contents of the truck and burn it. You have no right to do that. No right. And I'll tell you, you have no right to do that. This is total fucking bullshit. Police say, okay, remember, this is the headline. Police say it's unclear if Charlotte Mann pointed gun before shooting because the fact that he had a gun isn't enough anymore. It's okay, folks, if you're a black man to walk at this is this is the narrative that ABC News here and most of the media is telling us. It's okay if you're a black man to walk out of a car with a gun in your hand to refuse to th throw the gun out of your hand it, when police tell you to throw the gun out of your hand it's okay as long as you don't point it at police you don't deserve to be shot down like a dog if you do these things well ABC News and the media who constantly is pushing this fucking bullshit narrative? Fuck you. Okay? This is Shindo. Have a good day. Yeah!